My name is Dave Quinn and I'm from United Judo Club. Right, what made me want to begin judo was basically my father wanted me to do judo. And he took me to a judo club in Bromley, which was about 10 miles away from where I was living at the time. And he took me on the back of his motorbike. I was about seven years old and uh, enjoyed my judo there. But he broke his ankle because he was trying to do judo as well to encourage me. He broke his ankle and I felt really bad about that. Right, to get Dave's achievement in perspective, Dave is currently a, a six stand, which is a, a red and white belt. A lot of people think judo ends with a black belt, but uh, it's far from that. Yeah, to get it in perspective, it goes up to 10th dan. 10th dan is a, a thick, a solid red belt. And there's only one 10th uh, dan allowed in Europe. Dave Quinn, there's a name. Dave was one of the big kids when I was a little kid. Went on to enjoy great success as a competitor and still does on, on the World Masters stage. Was, was a good national player and, and has only appears to have got better with age. Um, has finally been recognised with, with the, the grade he's got now. Um, and, and Dave's a great person to, to train with. He's, a, he's a, a, a coach like the, the like of which you don't come across very often. Before a fight, I'm terrified. You'll often find me hiding in a corner, hoping that nobody is going to speak to me. And then if I can spend some time on my own, I try and psych myself up and pretend I'm Bruce Lee or someone really tough. And then when I come out, for a few seconds, I am that person and hopefully I win in a few seconds. Before I go onto the mat at competition, I feel excited, sick, nervous, desperate to get on there and get going. That's the worst part of the day is just before you fight. Then they call your name out, but they don't call you on to the mat. Coaching for me is a really exciting thing to be involved in because a lot of kids, if you're teaching kids, come into the dojo where we practice judo and they're very nervous, they're coming very shy and it's a wonderful thing to see kids developing and getting confidence and starting to learn balance and when to put their power in at the right times to gain control and win the game. It's really exciting being a coach.